What's happening guys? I'm Dan, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Appreciate you being here. We're diving back in. It's a fresh hot butcher drop. One of the best New England style beers you can get in the entire country comes from Hot Butcher. Yes, you guys know them out of Chicago, Illinois. Yeah, today we're dealing with The Way in Total Daylight. Again, crazy can art, nothing new here from Hot Butcher, except I have never had this beer. Don't know how many times they've brewed it. I want to say it isn't any older than 2020 or 2021. So uh, what I do love about Hot Butcher is they keep these rotating, awesome New England style IPAs just constantly going in the in the stream here. So what I do like as well is they've been making new beers that aren't in this category. They've been doing like Czech Pilsners, Lagers, and other things that you don't typically see from them. Love that they're branching out. Couldn't get my hands on any of those, but today we're dealing with this one. This is brewed with Citroen, uh, Nelson, Sauvin, and Galaxy. Seven and a half percent the staple that they usually do in the rotating New England style slash Dippas. Um, Wow, yeah, there is no canned on date, but I will say they typically message me on Instagram when I post a picture of their stuff, and they said, hey man, this is fresh, so don't worry, this went into distribution last week. So yeah, you're getting this one, I think around $17 for a four pack, not too bad in today's standards. I like it. Let's dive in, that's enough talking. So hope you guys are doing well. It is the day before New Year's Eve, so I have a quick moment to review as the little one is swinging upstairs. So we are diving in and man, that is some murky haze when I poured it. Oh my goodness. Wow, that is a thick ass boy. <laughs> uh, I, that's what I like to call New England styles that are super, super hazy, man. Look at that beauty. That's one of the sexiest dippas I've ever seen straight up. Crazy head retention, beautiful, compacted, white head sitting on top. It's like a cloud on top of this haze, man. Uh, wow, what do I need to say? Nothing, you guys can see it. So again, Citra, Nelson, Sauvin, and Galaxy. Really nice hop combo coming from Hot Butcher. So let's try to dig our schnoz in here. That head retention still hanging on, not going away. We're gonna try our best to get an aroma here. Hold on, aroma. Grassy, fruity, herbaceous, dankness. All those things hit you as you take a whiff of this beauty, guys. Um, it smells incredible. It smells like a, uh, a little bit of like a dank creamsicle. It smells like a tropical medley goodness, just a barrage and um, just, just straight ammo of tropical fruit, stone fruit, citrus, um, Meyer lemon, Wow, smells great. Just beautiful dank, grapefruit, papaya, mangoes for days. A little bit of like <sighs> berries, just berries, a little bit of grape, just a little bit of everything. It's a freaking fruit salad with grassy, herbaceous, slight dankness, uh, sweet pine, a little bit of honey. Bro, it's Hot Butcher. Let's stop it. Let's dive in. Let's get a sip of this beaut. Look at this thing. I can't get over the, or the appearance, man, or the aroma. Uh, already flabbergasted slightly, but let's go. Cheers. And boom. A little, a little bit more piney and bitter than I thought on the aroma. It seemed like it was gonna be a little bit sweeter and fruitier. It's still a fruit luscious bomb. Uh, grapefruit, navel orange, slight creamsicle vibe, uh, overripe peaches, lots and lots of mangoes and papayas, uh, slight pineapple uh, dryness, and again, grassy, fresh, Clippings when you just mow the lawn, that's sticking out. Sweet honey pine that is absolutely um, balanced out with bitterness on the back end. And again, slightly chivy, oniony, herbaceous goodness. Um, damn, 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 damn. It's a great beer, man. And, and it's just the soft, creamy, marshmallow, uh, marshmallowy mouthfeel. I'm lost for words. It's making me stumble over my own words because it's very good. So smooth, so delicious. 
Again, still lets you know it's an IPA. It's not just pure sweetness. Um, hate to throw some shade at these guys, but like a lot of times when I used to see like M43 and the Boss Tweed from Old Nation, those seem to get out of balance really quickly. I feel like they got better and more consistent in their brewing technique, uh, but I feel like those used to just wear on my palate um, some years back. I mean, at first I thought it was the greatest thing ever, but then people were making so many New England styles. Uh, beers that it just became a sweet fruit flower bomb. This isn't that. It's still an IPA. It's still got all these different fruits and qualities and still uh, balanced bitterness and all kinds of goodness going on in this glass. So guys, it's about balance. It's about mouthfeel. Hot Butcher does it and they do it really well. This is one of the most fantastic dippas I've had in a minute. And that's saying a lot because I get my hands on excellence in Michigan. A little bit acidic. Um, I'm slightly sweet again, but uh, what you're getting is incredible balance. I don't really need to say anything else, guys. This is one of the better hot butcher beers I've had in a minute. Uh, but again, slight little grape complex too, probably coming from the Nelson Sauvin. Um, but I will say more fruit medley going on than, than you even really can pick out. It's just a lot of nice blending. It's like you threw all those fruits into a blender and you put some grass clippings and you put some uh, chive and just slight bittering on the back end that just evens everything out. We're going to stop it here. Rating. Uh, four, four out of five. I just, I really like it. I think it's one of their better offerings. And again, the mouth feels solid from them, which no surprise. Uh, yeah, four, four out of five. It's been the way in total, the way in total daylight. So I'm Dan guys until next time over and out. Prost.